So you say Galatians uh, 4 and 17? Ephesians. Ephesians 4 17. No, no. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, that too, but it says, uh, hold on. Uh, no, it says uh, something about, yeah, cleave it to the man, uh, cleave it to him and depart not that thou mayest be increased at the, at the last end. So the Lord will increase every man according to his measure in the last end. If you want to be on another level, of the apostle or another brother, the Lord going to increase you to do that. Right. So it ain't up to us, it's up to the Lord. It's just something we're just expounding on. With, I, I don't know, I can read it with my brother, break it down real quick. Yeah, Ephesians okay. uh, 4 and 7. I got it. Ephesians okay. 4 and 7, it says, But unto every one, every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of the Mashiach. See? And that word, um, I'm pulling up measure real quick. Metron in the Greek, G3, yeah, G3357, but the Metron, I guess. And down here it got me. It says the required measure, the do, the fit. Mm. So whatever the measure the Lord have upon us made us to come into this church, those lively stones to be right. fit to wow, to be fit together. So whatever man measure is from the Lord, that's the gift that the Lord gave each man, you know. That's right. It's good to have uh Good righteousness to want to be like a brother because the bible said mark the perfect man right so we get that but we've been giving role models in this thing to kind of model to, to, to see how that man moves but like you say you got to make it your own right you gotta you gotta be your own man because I, i'll say this we there's a there's a spirit on every brother for every member of the elect to get edified you got brothers that are more like they come from that a street more so uh walk of life right. you got brothers that come from a business walk of life Right. Brothers that come from, you know, my walk, they was in the sports world. Mm -hmm. So we can articulate things in a way through the spirit to where everybody can be edified, no matter what walk of life you come from. Right. So right. trying to mimic another brother, you're taking away from, hey, this might be somebody that was specifically that you were supposed to edify, right. but you didn't reach them the way they need to be reached right. because you was trying to mimic someone else. Right. Right. Um, it says portion. Yep. You know, the Lord give every man his portion. Right. Huh? Okay. Uh, somebody got the many members. I'll, I'll get that in. The... Let me see. Uh, we many members of that of this one body, you know, but we all have you know different uh portions. Different offices. Romans uh. Romans twelve. Yeah, Romans twelve. Romans twelve. Okay. Six and, six and three. If a man think himself to be something, because yeah. we all come out of the, like I said, the sports world, the street world, different worlds. So in the streets, you had a certain mindset about yourself to make you think like I'm the man. Right. So we get that. But now it seems there was some spiritual and the gift that was given to us from on high is different. Right. So every man gonna have that about himself when he comes to the truth. But the Bible says, if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. So in the world, we thought we were somebody, but when it comes to this, the Lord will bring us down, the Lord will strip us down from that mind state. And he will build us up in due time the way he sees fit because this is his program. This is his, uh, what they call it. Um, it's his movie. He's directing movie. this movie. Right, right. right. Yeah. Somebody have Roman 12? Okay. Well, I got okay, you get that one. Uh, well, he started at verse 3. You got, yeah, you go ahead, brother. Verse 12, verse 12. It says, for as the body is one and has many members, right, and all the members of the one body, being many, are one body, so also is my shell. So as you have, like say, many members of the body going into what? Different parts. So every part, your hands, to your feet, you know, to your, your back, your legs, everything has a, a, a play their own part, but yet, all in all, it's, it's what it's beneficial to the whole body right you know? so you gotta have your different type of yeah yeah and, and on, on the team you gotta have a quarterback you gotta yep. have a wide receiver you gotta have a good line yep. right the block you gotta have good defense mm -hmm. you got all these different positions that come together and they make a strong fist man to achieve that goal which is the win yep. right. Everybody can't be the quarterback. Everybody can't be quarterback. <laughs> right. They ain't got no line. Right. Have one head can have five, six, seven heads. You know? Yeah. Everybody can't be the head. You got more. You got, you got some up. And 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 a, and a beautiful thing about this walk too is you before you lead, you got to know how to what follow. 
And a lot of people, when they come into this thing and they, they just want that leadership position right away, you got to learn how to follow first. You got to learn how to, you know what I mean? You got to learn how to be in order. And, and if it's supposed to be your position to be in a leadership role, the Lord will elevate you there in due time. But the guys that come in this thing and they want to be the guy off rip, they don't last. They never last. Here you go. That's something. Romans, yeah, yeah. Romans 12 this, and 3. This is Romans chapter 12 and verse 3. For I say, through the grace given me, it's like a given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. Yeah, you're not supposed to think of yourself more highly than you ought to. You got to be of a humble spirit, man, because the Lord didn't have to give us this knowledge. The Lord can have you out here, you know, going just like the rest of these people. That's right. And, 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 and be what? Right for the destruction. But he gave you, this is a gift, man. This is a privilege to even to have to understand it, to be given it eyes out. Because it's not an intellectual thing. We know people that are, hey, they're smart as all outside, right? Yeah. But the Lord didn't give them the spirit to understand these simple concepts that he gave us. Right, right, right. So, so this is a privilege. So nobody should be feeling like, oh, I'm that guy, I'm this, I'm that. No, man, not at all. Right. Um, you want to finish at four and five? And if I can add too, just I, I don't know if the uh, the con. I know he mentioned it before the camera came on, but the scriptures say he might have bought it out. Mm -hmm. The scriptures say that uh, when a man thinketh himself to be something, he is nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? In Gal it's in Galatians. You right. know what I'm saying? So just to add on to the the Gahan's point, so re finishing in Romans 12 and verse three, it says, "But to think soberly, according as the Most High hath dealt to every man the measure of faith." Mm. Mm. And go ahead. You got the measure now. You got it. Yeah. Yeah, that measure, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody was was given a portion, man. Yeah. And 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 that measure of faith, man, which is a gift, man. You know what I'm right. saying? When you when you read in a, uh, Romans the 11th chapter, and verse five, grace and faith is a gift of the Lord, man. It's not of yourself, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But every every man, each of these men that you see out here getting started with Apostle Harlem down, those sincere men have been given a certain portion, man, that we that we're to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Because you are allowed to be strong. Everybody has a fit. The measure means to fit. Everybody has they fit. Yeah. The loudest stones, your house shot being a center block. Everybody else is fitly tied together. So yeah. whatever the measure Lord give us, He know what we need. He see, He know what we uh, what they call it. He see fit what we need when it comes to the uh, different measures of faith, man. Right. That's right. So yeah. Have faith and no faith. I'd rather have some faith than none. Exactly. Right. An engine, an engine has hundreds of parts. Right. If you take some a few of those parts, just one or one or two of those parts out. The whole thing goes to shit. You understand? So regardless of how big or how small your role is, do it to the to the best of your ability. Because for this engine to run, everybody has to do their part. And I was trying to, one time I had an acro man make a long story short, I was trying to fix all my shit. I got it running, but a small little piece, I mean a small little piece, a, a very small piece that dropped between the motor. I'm like, all right, it don't mean nothing. Right. And I'm driving the car to the gas station, I'm seeing smoke. So I'm like, okay, this oil you're burning from the motor, the oil leaking. Bro, I got to that gas station to pop that hood. All I saw was flames at the gas station. Oh my goodness. A Mexican dude had to come and put the fan fire out. Right. All because that little piece I thought didn't matter was the piece about to blow my ass up. Right. So whatever little portion you got in the truth, man, it matters, man. Exactly. Yeah. If, I add two, yeah. if I'm gonna add two, just like the, uh, uh, the when you think about the body, the pinky toe mm. would be considered probably insignificant. Right, you need that. But lose that bad boy injury. And watch how, watch how it affects how you walk, man. Yeah. Tremendously, you will see the difference. Your balance is off. Your balance is off. Exactly, bro. Right. And, and, and the Lord is all about being balanced. Right. 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 So even if you're the pinky toe in this thing, man. There it is. <laughs> hey, your part is important, man. Be the, be the pinky toe. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about ingredients in a meal. You can go and say, okay, you're not going to put the salt, paprika. It might be different proportions. I might have teaspoon of this a tablespoon of that yeah you know you don't have all that that everything be the same because you come out what you get that 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 perfect mixture for that perfect meal you're going to have different portions of that that uh uh the season that's right you know while the bible said we the salt of the earth so right Ooh, man everybody coming together exactly. bringing their flavor bringing yeah their spirit you know I ain't saying I'm perfect at it. I just know where to stay in my lane and allow the Lord to work on me to increase me however he sees fit. That's right. But uh, 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 the Bible says he put away child. Uh, it says uh, something about uh, growing this thing. No, um, a man puts away childish things, man. Right, right, right. You know? So at, at a certain time and period, man, we, we, we put away certain things. And, and you come up on a level, and these are constants that you grow to understand. 
that everybody's needed. All the pieces are needed, man. And whatever piece you are, do it in your in your fullness of strength. Shalom, brother. That was all, you know. It's a quick, where's a quick pre camp lesson? Anybody got anything else to add? No, that was it. Okay, yeah, so we about to get camp started here in a couple minutes, so just give us a second and uh, we'll be right back at it. All right, shalom. Shalom.